Are you are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are oppositional solidarity of Iranian association, and we are joining the campaign coming originally from Iran with the slogan "No to the Islamic regime in Iran" and say. No to the deceitful elections that are currently underway in Iran. There are no free elections in the Islamic regime. It is a deceitful game, ladies and gentlemen. It is a deceitful game. Hamuni ke goftin entakhabat namayeshi. Jona entesab. Without regard for the opinion of the citizens, they are lured to the polls in order to gain the legitimacy of the regime, which is supposed to legalize the crimes of the system's lures. The Iranian citizens ask, why should we vote for the murderers? Of our loved ones, how often do we have to be deceived by their empty promises? They say we don't want this regime, and we say we demand fundamental and radical change that goes beyond corruption and authoritarian structures. The brutal and anti-Semitic regime. Fights everything that is considered Western, taking of the headscarf, feminism, homosexuality, modernity, as well as human rights. We should always bear in mind, in our mind, that the women still don't have the same rights as a man, and in the last. 42 years, most suffering people were women and children. We have almost 10 million street children. 10 million street children. Can you imagine 10 million street children? More than more than 120. People have been executed so far since 1979, and even more than 6,000 gays and lesbians were killed in Iran since 1979, and the number of unreported cases is much higher. Ladies and gentlemen, the regime is investing the state's assets in terror war and nuclear economy to destroy Israel. A new nuclear agreement would bring billions into the coffers of the revolutionary guards and their allies, banks and companies. So now my appeal is to the European and to the world. Surely the politicians know about all this and one has become more skeptical of Tehran in the meantime. But they still want to believe in the beneficial effect of the deal. The fact that Iran, especially in the years in which the deal was previously in place, not only set the entire region on fire, but also planned one attack after another in Europe and took European citizens hostage is apparently not even a footnote in the negotiations in Vienna, ladies and gentlemen. So now is very important. Hello, I'm talking now about the mosque in Hamburg. Man alone ham rajeb masjid Hamburg sohbat kora. همیانان عزیز این یک چیز خیلی مهمیه 
که 44 سال پیش اتفاق افتاد در آلمان و ما ایرانی ها که اصلا متوجهش نشدیم بلکه خود اروپایی هم متوجهش نشدن من اینو به انگلیسی میگم بعد بساتاش بهش ترجمه میکنم از اون 44 years ago the previous director of the blue mosque blue mosque is the Imam Ali mosque in Hamburg Ayatollah Beheshti who was later the second most important man of the Mullah regime under the protection of our liberal society made the plans for the implementation against women law of the Sharia and the enemy images against Israel and USA in Hamburg, ladies and gentlemen. Ayatollah Beheshti changed the original name of the mosque from Iranian mosque community to Islamic Center Hamburg in order to carry out the Islamist terrorist and political work worldwide. We call, so you are asking why I am talking about Imam Ali Mosque, why? از شما خودتون دارین از خودتون میپرسید من چرا راجع به مسجد هامبورگ صحبت میکنم اول از این که they are under the control of the constitutional protection یعنی حکومت آلمان اینا رو داره کنترل میکنه این مسجد رو و I said uh, first in English you remember an Asadullah Asadi the terrorist has been arrested June 2018 okay you know it you know about this information so the police found in his notebook 10 the name of 10 people who are involved with the mosque in Hamburg so that's it that is a place of terrorist this mosque is a place of a terrorist in Hamburg so we are fighting against for many, many years in Hamburg, and we hope that we will have success. So, at the end, we call all politicians, the press, and all citizens to stand together with us in solidarity with the people in Iran, and to set a sign for more humanity, tolerance for the rights of women and human rights in Iran and everywhere. We say no to the Islamic regime of Iran and therefore we boycott the elections that are taking place today in Iran. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your attention.